Hi everyone, I'm Anu Katharisen, fertility physician and Dr. Mom, and here to educate on fertility. In this video, we'll be talking about understanding ovulation. It's important to have a good understanding of ovulation and when to have intercourse to maximize your chances of success when you're trying to conceive. So let's start that discussion now. <music> I want to point out, I have done a video on understanding the menstrual cycle, and I think this is an important video to watch to also understand ovulation. I will link the video here, but essentially what I'm going to do is summarize what happens in the menstrual cycle and also what happens in ovulation. So what happens at the beginning of a cycle is there the period will occur, and that is considered cycle day one and the start of the cycle. So the brain produces FSH, which stands for follicle-stimulating hormone. That will travel through the bloodstream to the ovary, and it stimulates the ovary to grow a follicle. Within the follicle is a microscopic egg. As the follicle is growing, the egg is maturing. The follicle is also producing estrogen. Once the follicle reaches a certain size and a certain critical level of estrogen is reached, the brain will then produce LH, and this is known as the LH surge. And the LH surge will prompt ovulation to occur approximately 24 to 36 hours later. So ovulation is basically the release of the egg from the follicle. The egg will then travel down the fallopian tube. Hopefully intercourse happen around the same time and sperm will travel through the vagina, cervix, uterus, and the egg and sperm will meet in the tube. And once the sperm fertilizes the egg, it becomes an embryo. The embryo will travel the rest of the distance down the tube and implant in the uterus. Now the follicle that was previously growing the egg and after ovulation, it collapses and becomes what we call a corpus luteum. That corpus luteum is producing estrogen and progesterone to support a theoretical pregnancy. If a pregnancy implants, the corpus luteum will continue to survive and continue to produce estrogen and progesterone. If a pregnancy does not implant, the corpus luteum will regress and die off and that estrogen and progesterone will decline and then a patient will have a period. So that's essentially what happens in the menstrual cycle and what happens in ovulation, which is just the release of the egg. The next important thing to know is when is your fertile window? This is the time you should be targeting intercourse to maximize your chances of success when you're trying to conceive. The first question to ask is, are your cycles regular? Regular cycles come every 21 to 35 days. If your cycles are falling in that range, that is reassuring for ovulation. If your cycles are falling outside this range, this means cycles are irregular, and then ovulation may not be occurring, or it may be occurring, but it may be more sporadic, and it's actually best to consider seeing a fertility specialist to get further workup to determine why that might be and to get the appropriate treatment. Now, if cycles are regular, again, this is reassuring that ovulation is occurring, and then we can calculate when the fertile window would be. So how we do that is you take your cycle length on average, so let's say it's 29 days, and the luteal phase, the time frame after ovulation and before the next period, that is the luteal phase, and it is consistent in its duration, and it should be about 12 to 14 days. So if your cycles are 29 days, then you could subtract 14, and that is the proximate time of ovulation. Then subtract another six days, and that is the fertile window. It's the six-day interval leading up to ovulation. Now, sperm can live in the genital tract anywhere from two to five days, but the egg is only viable for about 12 to 24 hours. So it is really important to have intercourse before ovulation to get the sperm in the genital tract so the sperm is ready and waiting to meet the egg. Having intercourse after ovulation is just not going to be as successful because the egg may not be viable by the time intercourse occurs. Now, what is recommended is having intercourse every one to two days during the fertile window. Now, alternatively, another option is you could do ovulation predictor kits. The ovulation predictor kit is looking for that LH surge. So once you get a positive on that kit, you can have intercourse on that day and the following day. So these are the things you can do in terms of timing and the fertile window to maximize your chances of success. The last thing I would go over is knowing when to seek help. If cycles are irregular or there is already a known infertility factor, for example, a known male factor, known uterine factor, or known tubal factor, endometriosis, PCOS, you can go ahead and see us. 
Other circumstances are going to be if cycles are regular and if you are under the age of 35 and if you've been unsuccessful for one year, it's recommended to see us. If you're between the ages of 35 and 39 and if you've been unsuccessful for six months, it's also recommended to see us at that time. If you're over the age of 40, it's actually recommended to go ahead and see us right away. The reason is, is that with advancing female age, there's a decline in ovarian reserve, egg number, and egg quality. And with the passage of time, there's going to be that continued decline. And so we just want to do everything that we can to maximize your chances of success. That is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I hope you'll give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you have comments or questions, you can leave them for me there also. Thank you again so much for watching and see you in the next video.